Hi, I'm Danielle. I'm Caitlin. Together we're our time of the month. As you know, we love to start a video with a beer. Except, we're tricking you. This whole video is about beers. This whole video is about beers. We're gonna try to do a better job than we did the last time we did a beer review. Uh, Cause it's not a blind taste test. Yes. We're drinking all fall pumpkin beers. Yes. I went to the store, I found seven. We're gonna rank them, we're gonna tell you our favorites, we're gonna tell you the ones we don't like so that you don't make the same mistake. Oh, so I think I just thought of the name for this video. What is it called? Seven Beers, Two Girls. Right, Two Girls, One Cup. Mm-hmm. Seven Beers, Two Girls. Seven Pumpkin Beers. Yes, so shall we show them what we're working with? Sure, how do you wanna to start? Top, down. Sure. Uh, we've got an Anderson Valley Fall Hornin Pumpkin Ale. Fall Horn. Fall Hornin. It's a bear with horns. It is, and it has is an ale brewed with pumpkin and spices. I have the Evolution Craft Brewing Jacques. Why did I get the French one? Jacques. Jacques au lantern. <gasps> Jacques au lantern, get it? It's mm -hmm. like a Jack o' lantern, but like French. Fancy. Except it's from Salisbury, so no. <laughs> it's a Belgian style pumpkin ale. Okay. Then we have the Dogfish Head Pumpkin Ale, P U N K I N. Like pumpkin chunkin'. I love this. Oh, that's, that's a, a little artwork. Graphic. Yeah. Why is there a frog in there though? This is brown ale brewed with pumpkin, brown sugar, allspice, cinnamon, and nutmeg. I think I'm most excited about this one. Which is funny because I almost didn't get it. It is the Harpoon Duncan Pumpkin. Duncan Pumpkin. Harpoon and Duncan have come together to make this beer. I just, it cracks me up. I just love the Duncan. We have a Lancaster baked pumpkin ale. It's ale brewed with pumpkin spices and other natural flavors. I've never had anything from Lancaster Brewing Company, so we're gonna give that a go. And I don't think I've ever had a pumpkin pie beer before. Huh. Uh, I, I have the Voodoo Ranger Spicy Release Atomic Pumpkin. Have you already tried this? Uh-huh. Your face is giving me all sorts of things. I'm excited. I hate it. <laughs> and then last but not least, we have the Chesapeake Cider Company Pumpkin Spice Cider. So they made a peach sangria cider over summer and it was so delicious. Oh, yeah. So when I saw this, I was like, we're just gonna have to try that too. So most of these companies are local, at least to the Eastern seaboard. Um, so it might be hard to find them, but I highly encourage you to just go and wander the aisles or ask one of your you know, beer purveyors what they like and what they're, what's new, what's different, all that kind of stuff. Okay, so we'll start with Anderson Valley Fall Hornin. I'm ready. Yeah, so that's the, it is a bear sipping from water with uh, antlers. Yep. Oh, and this is... Oh yeah, how much? ABV? Okay, so the ABV is not on the can. So. Unknown. That's good. Oh, I just want to taste. Oh yeah, why did I... Sorry, here. <laughs> Too much. And then OTM Husband is also here off camera. Tasting. Okay, okay. cheers. Cheers. No, oh, I, I like that. I think it's too sweet. I don't feel like it's very sweet at all. Subtle. Subtle. Definitely a noticeable pumpkin spice in there, like nutmeg, but it's not overpowering. No, no, it not It tastes at all. like a fall beer. I will say it is a light fall beer, but I wish it wasn't as sweet somehow. Oh, weird. I did just eat spicy pizza, so. Okay, number two. Jacques, Jacques O' Lantern. It's French, but from California. No, from Salisbury. Oh, you're right, no, because I read the other one was from California. Okay, Belgian style pumpkin ale. What's the ABV on this one? This is 6.3%. Okay, so slightly higher than the average beer. Here you go. But nothing too crazy. It smells weird. Ah! Uh, Caitlin, this smells like rotting pumpkins. It also just doesn't smell like a very fall beverage. There, there don't seem to be spices in this. No. Okay. Hate it. Oh, ah! I don't like it at all. So the Belgian style ale should have been a giveaway because I don't really love that kind of a beer. Mike, thoughts? That's better than the first one. What? Ugh. I don't like that at all. No. 
it has that hint of tongue depressors to me. Next up is Dogfish Head Pumpkin Ale. I have high hopes for this. I <laughs> actually flown. Yeah, I did. 7% ABV. Just a splash, thanks. I really like- it Smells a bit like the last one. I really like the color on this one. Why did my voice just crack? Oh, there are. There are. There are. There are. There are. There are. Okay, cheers. I don't like the smell. Ah, that is so weird. I don't like that one either. That one hits me in the chest. Wow. I don't like it. It tastes very similar. Mm. Oh, it almost has like an IPA end. Oh, that's so much better. What's that flavor? Rancid pumpkin. <laughs> Rancid. Pumpkin. Okay, we've got Harpoon Dunkin' Pumpkin. Okay, I'm excited. Very excited. About this. I do wish this was like a pumpkin donut. 5.2% ABV. Uh, I don't like the way this one smells either. The last three have smelled identical. Oh, I don't want to try it. Oh, oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh! That is delicious! Smells are deceiving. This, you know how I just said I wish it was a pumpkin donut? It tastes like a pumpkin donut. It's a pumpkin donut, it's but it's a pumpkin, pumpkin cake donut. But it's not as coffee. sweet pumpkin coffee. Yeah. as the first one. It's like pumpkin cold brew coffee. Ooh. Ooh, ooh. That's a good one. Pumpkin I like. coffee, yeah. I like, I like. Here you go. Okay. That's next. Have you ever had anything from Lancaster Brewing Company? No. I will say, I want to shout them out for their um, label design. Look how cute. It's cute. It's very cute. It's obviously like hand, like somebody hand designed it. Okay. Pardon me. I'm actually going to, that's delicious. Good. Thank you. Okay. Smells closest to when you are baking something with pumpkin and you yeah. have it all mixed together, but you haven't baked it yet. Like a pumpkin pie batter. Mm-hmm. Like this almost smells to me like there is like real pumpkin in it. This is next for you. Okay, down the hatch. Okay. It tastes like a cream soda. It tastes like um, pumpkin cream soda. And neither good nor bad. It's okay to me. It's got a... A, a heavy sweetener. Very sweet. But it's, I don't know, it's like not quite maple syrupy, but it's a brown sweetener. It's like brown, brown sugar. sugar. It's not like vanilla. white sugar. Like the first one I thought was too sweet, but it's like tip of the tongue sweet. I don't know how to explain this. But this one is like back of the throat sweet. Yeah, it's okay. Okay, number six is the Voodoo Ranger. Spicy Release Atomic Pumpkin. This is by New Belgium Brewing. This is the only one from the bunch that I've had. Okay, mm -hmm. Caitlin. Cheers. Did you even pour yourself any? Yeah. Okay, you're gonna do it. Mike, you gotta try it. Mm -hmm. Fuck no. Oh, it's that bad? I it just... smells awful. It smells, it has a hint of microwaved broccoli to it. I will say the word spicy in the title is not wrong. It burns my throat. It's too much. It's too much spice. How could you drink that? I don't know. It's like a snickerdoodle gone bad. Like, or like a ginger cookie. Like a, it's like heavy on the ginger and cinnamon. I don't like it. I do not like it. I don't like it at all. And I love New Belgium beers, but this is a absolutely not. Ew, and there is a continued afterburn. It's not good. Yeah, my throat is still burning. That's my least favorite one. I'm just going to put that out there. It even is worse than the rancid pumpkin. Spicy. But also, there's no pumpkin to this. Too spicy. Like, how, how dare they call it pumpkin? Okay. Sliced. Oh, I forgot. I don't have a cup for that. Oh, I gave you seven. All right. Okay. Well, what's that? Yeah. So it smells like a cider. No, I don't like it. It doesn't taste like pumpkin. It just no. tastes like cider to me. Mm -hmm. Yeah. It's, I don't think it's bad though. It's not bad, but it's 
not the taste I was expecting. You know what I'm saying? It's just a cider. Because their peach sangria was peach sangria cider. Yes. Right. Yeah, I don't like it. Don't. There's just no, there's no special flavor to this for Right, me. it's meh. I will say the color is orangier than a traditional cider, but other than that, I feel like, and this is rude, but I feel like it could easily be, what's the cider that they sell at a bar? Angry Orchard. It could be an Angry Orchard. Yeah. And I'm gonna guess that this is not an Angry Orchard price. No, it's local. Yeah, so, oh, sorry Chesapeake Cider Company. I'm just not gonna, no. I like your other stuff. Mm -hmm. Okay. Okay, so rankings. I don't love a lot of these. I will say I only like two. And this is not meant to offend any brewery. Like, no. you know, Caitlin and I, if you've been a long time watcher, we are big supporters of local alcohol distributors <laughs> and producers, but no, that was not good. Alcohol, just like food, is extremely personal. And like, people don't make beers for every single person on the planet to no. like them. All right, so I have mine in order. Can you just keep this in order but to pour that down the sink so i can talk about them is this the combination of all of them yeah you should try it okay <laughs> boo why is it even though it's fresh beer good call mike the way i've done it is i have layered like this is my number one this is my number two three four five and six and every single time i took the dredges and i just kept pouring it into one cup so this is like the culmination of six beers even though I know that it that's what it is, and they're fresh, cold beers, and they're all pumpkin beer. It still is giving me the heebie-jeebies the way it would if you literally went to like any restaurant table and dumped everyone's leftover drink into one cup. Drink the fat. We're gonna drink the fat. Ready? <laughs> Cheers. <laughs> Doing it for you, Mike. Thanks for the suggestion. You have to do it too, bitch. You didn't get out of it. Yeah. That's fine. At least it's all pumpkin. Right. Did you create the perfect pumpkin beer? It ain't bad. It's certainly better than some of that shit we were drinking. Okay. It doesn't smell good. I think you're going to be good. pleased. <laughs> it's actually the best one. Ta -da! <laughs> So all you need to do to create the perfect pumpkin beer is to buy all these trash beers and then combine them. Just go out. It, it's not the best. But it's it certainly the worst. <laughs> not the worst. I think I would put that as my number two. Yes, I think any future products that we make, oh, the tagline should Thank be, you. it ain't the best, but it ain't the worst. But it ain't the worst. Okay, so my, real quick, let's go through it again. Do you yes. know what your number one was? Number one. Same. Harpoon, oh. the Duncan one, yeah. which I will say, I also feel like a Duncan, people are so fanatical about it. If you like Duncan, I would go out and get it. I will say, this was the one that I saw on the counter and I was going to leave it there, and the guy who was helping me was like, well, you should get that one too. He so, upsold you and it worked. It worked. It was the best one. Well, thank you. He also you. said his favorite one was the Voodoo Ranger because it wasn't very spicy. He said he doesn't really like spice. Well, because it's not spicy. It's no, fucking it's spicy. It's like red hots. Okay, what's your number two? My number two is Anderson Valley Fall Hornin. My number two is Lancaster Baked Pumpkin Ale. Okay. And then my number three, I think, is just ours switched. My number three is Anderson Valley Fall Hornin. Okay, and my number three was the Lancaster. Yeah, and then I will say the other three can just live down at the bottom. They can fuck right off. I really don't need to expand past number I three. I feel bad. I'm sorry. I thought this was going to, I thought we were going to find new beers we love. Well, I feel like pumpkin is a little tricky because it's a, it's like a trendy flavor. So I think everyone tries to make one, whether they, it's like really kind of in their wheelhouse or not. Um, I do have favorites that we did not show. So my, my other favorites are Schlafly Pumpkin, mm -hmm. which we tried in a video and you said it was great. Yeah, uh, there are other pumpkin beers that I do enjoy more than these And ones. I like Southern Tier Non-Nitro Pumpkin. Mm -hmm. It's excellent as well. Yeah, so I And mean, Pumpkin Head by Shipyard, that's a good one. Listen, we're just trying to switch up content. You know, we like to try new flavors, you know that, that's no secret. Yeah, we like beers. If you have any recommendations for things you wanna see us drink or eat, Leave it in a comment. We'll do it. Oh, please. Please let it be candy. I can't wait to do Christmas beers. Christmas beers. I want to do like Christmas cookies. Christmas cookies. I want to do, I don't know. Chocolate, not chocolates. Oh, joke. Russell Stover. Raisins. <laughs> Mike, I think that's just like my favorite video of you of all time. It is. Raisins. Raisins. <laughs> Raisins. I thought I was going to be drunker, but it just turned out that I didn't really like a lot of these. So we so don't want to drink them. <laughs> Right. Uh, if there is any pumpkin beer that you love, uh, feel free to put it down in the comments below. We'd love to try it. Yeah. Or feel free to like send it to us. 
That's also true. Um, and then comment, like, and subscribe. Ring the bell for notifications. Please. Watch our last video. Watch our next video. Watch our all the videos. Okay, I fucked <laughs> that one up. Uh, what's on your mouth? <gasps> on my mouth is the exclusive. What is this? Exclusive Alana Davidson slash Nude Sticks collaboration gel color lip and cheek balm in the shade Send Nudes. I love it. It's perfect. I, love I it. have nothing but rave reviews about the entire kit. In fact, I filmed an IGTV yesterday. Once I get that edited, I will put it up and best money I've spent. Oh my god. So good. What about you? So I am wearing just the itty bittiest little Bobbi Brown tester that I was sent. It is the crushed liquid lip in the shade. I don't know what color it is, but I got it as probably like a hundred point perk or free somewhere. It's beautiful. It wears really lovely. It is kind of glossy, but not too glossy. Not at all sticky. Caitlin is a Bobbi Brown lipstick hype girl and I'm a buxom lipstick hype girl. Yes. Yes. I would agree with that. Totally. Two B's. Okay. Four if you count us. <laughs> and if you made it to the end of the video and you want to answer our random question. You had it. I had it. It is, what is the weirdest thing one of your neighbors has ever done? I have a wackadoo neighbor to my left, a wackadoo neighbor to my right, and a wackadoo neighbor straight ahead of me. I'm literally surrounded on three sides by wackadoo neighbors. Yes, I agree with that. She agrees with that. I don't have any weird neighbors, but I still spy on them as if they are. Right. I just have asshole neighbors. Like, yeah. just dicks. Rude. Rude. Ugh, morons. All right, well, the light is fading, and so are we, so we're gonna close out this video. <laughs> oh my god, you're so right. It's very, very dark. <gasps> you wanna cut it? No, I think we should have our special guest come and cut it. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> I wasn't expecting it. Okay, Mike didn't Fine. do his hair today, so he won't get in the video, but you're gonna do it from off camera, right? We're gonna cut it. Cut it, yeah. Thanks to Mike for that tagline. Thanks, guys. Bye.